information, he can write something up and post it. Put it on the yeah, we can. In the bad times like this. So we do that when we do that during the snow events and Yeah, I mean that's what we talked about is some regular updates. Yeah, that. regular regular so communication. Like season, maybe that's the, if you do have you, an idea of what if you can give us things where you're thinking of working. The the only yeah, thing is in the summertime it's much right. easier because we have planned projects. Right. But not season it's it's here there everywhere. It's hard to I can't tell you every mud hole sure. that's in this town that I'm going to fix tomorrow. Right. No, but can you right. give a general? I can give, yeah, I can generally give a, a general idea. I mean, I try to break the town into sort of quarters, mm -hmm. and I try to put my efforts in a little bit everywhere. You could, you could say, though, you know, to bar future calls, you could say we receive calls about holes in the following group following roads and we're going to get to them as time permits. Yeah. So that yeah, at least they know you know. We can have a discussion around this too. I think it's just, I think it's, 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 I think it's just, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's just about communication, saying something so that people know that you know, even though they know you know. I mean, do we, do we want to put it on the website or do we want to do Well. The front, I, I think front porch. Don't you think front porch? Well, form? the only issue with front, front porch forum is the lag. So, um, front porch forum comes out every day at about four. I don't. So, if you're posting, if you're giving them anything after that, it's not going to come out for 24 hours. Um, I think, you know, if I don't even know what the path to putting something on the website is. Well, we have to. We'd have to get. Um, Jeremy or Barbara to put something on the website, you know, post it. So, and they usually leave the office around four. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, even if it's just like we know this, you know, we know mud season's really bad. Um, the road crew is on it. They're hauling gravel. You'll see that, you know, something, or and saying that you know the road crew works on sections of towns. Something. Well, if if so, all right. Let's try this out, though. What if at what if we asked Jeremy if he would be willing at three thirty each day to po post um, what happened today? So we're not asking you to predict. It's okay. Here's here's the roads that we hit today. If you have an awareness of what you're doing tomorrow, then people do have immediate information. Um, and it could possibly be accomplished in a conversation with Jeremy if he's willing to do that. What do you think of that idea? Uh, well, it's certainly it's easier to tell him what I've done, what I've already done, than it is. And that's what you saw, right? I, Denise, they said what was already done. I can't remember. I thought I printed it out, and I didn't. So they got some of all, some of what they're okay. no, I, I just think I really think you're right that. What people need is just a little touch. They need a communication. First of all, I think people need to know just what you're doing in the sense generically. So I think I'm talking to both of you guys. I think just saying all we can do right now is put gravel down. It's too early for us to see the road. Gravel and grade. Gravel and grade. Yeah, you know, or whatever, something like that. And then, because to the extent people are irritated, it's because they keep driving over something that's really hard. To do, and they're thinking, why can't they do anything about this? And I think if you say all we can do, a lot of people do doesn't don't understand that we <coughs> can't grade right now. Right. Well, well I, I think that's too slow. Well, too loud. I mean, I had a conversation with him where I was saying, why can't you grade? You know, he said you can't. Grade. I told you why. Because I'm not ready. I know, but you're a girl. So anyway. <laughs> To belabor this any longer, yeah, we're all yeah. we're all coming at I various think. ideas and various urgings that there be some regular method of communicating people something to so, something that is useful. It you know the more specific, great. But if that's not possible, um, that's something we can aspire to. And for now, just letting people know. Even if you have a, even once a week you say we hit these roads this week. That's why I think, I think, my opinion is just posting something on Front Porch Forum 
on a, if it's a, you know, like right now, it's really bad, so maybe once a week, maybe twice a week. I don't think that it's going to be possible to ask Jeremy to do this every day. Probably not. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think that's a realistic... Can we just leave it to the two of you guys to... Yeah. That's where we are. We're on well, yeah. communicate. Start, start somewhere, like you said, right. go once a week. Quite a bit. Right. Whatever it may be. Yeah, right. yeah. 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 I just know that yeah. last week, I was not going to be wanting to talk to somebody on the phone right. explaining what I did. Right. Because it's, it's, it's just it's too much. Right. You know, at the, at the end of the day, it was 6 o'clock some nights before I got home. Yeah. Well, that's why. Right. Leave. And my brain is pushed at that point. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, it, it's just it is. I mean, I'm keeping track of the guys. I'm telling them where, where one road needs to be, where the grade is going next. Mm hmm. You know, I I, I think we in breakdowns and I gotta be on the phone talk. So I just during those times is gonna be the hardest time for me to communicate. That. But I think Rick um, could work with you just having a conversation with Rick and then post something on Rick and That's Rick. what he's saying. I mean I'm with you, I'm glad to do that, but he, he's gotta have a bandwidth even so, talk to me. Right, I gotta be right. able to get it. So right. either he has to drop me an email, because I'm at work too, so right. I've got, if we have, I can try to set something up either with Barb or with Front Park Porch Forum, I can post that. Mm -hmm. But I still have to have Alfred's, uh, right. you know, he's got to fill me in with that information. So. Right. Yeah. Bo bottom line yeah. is, bottom line, Alfred, I hear you, and at the same time, from my, my standpoint, it's not too much for, for the town to ask of us. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so think about how you how you create that bandwidth for yourself. I hear you that you that that you need it, but think about how you how you make that space in your energy level and your and your your brain. Um, how can Rick help? It's not too much for people to ask. It the, doesn't take long to post something on front porch. Right. Right. You can, you can, like, drop in the right. You can first, you, you know, you can first yeah. vent for. Yeah. 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 You can right. vent at Rick for a few minutes and and then do that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. You should um, up to that. <laughs> yeah. No, he will be. He can take yeah, it. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I do want to talk about too tonight, I want to make sure that we have like the, the whole notification process for schools. Right. That's, that's on the important. agenda. You know, yep. to, that's the next item. Okay. Yeah. So. Anything else that we need to say about mud season? No, okay. When's it going to be over? Right. Protocol, all right, let's shift on. Protocol for school closures based on poor road conditions. That's the next item, Rick, you want to? Yeah, this, and this, this dovetails in particularly, you know, with, you, I know it's in snow emergency where you're, 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 you're talking to Roger Hill and then to the supervisory, and that, I think that's connected. Well, I generally talk to Roger, he's the communication. Right, to the school. To the school. Um, and then lately I've been talking to the bus garage. Um, right. Through, through a text or a... Or a so Roger Hill communicates with the school, did you say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Worked out a few years ago, right? A process so that that... And this is how they make the decisions about school closures and not closures. We have a contract with Roger, right? What? What's that? We have that contract with Roger or no? I mean, we do not have yeah. I think that's the part that's broken because when we were using him when you were on leave, we did have a contract. I don't, no, I don't we think never we never had a contract. We paid him. We kind of piggyback through the schools. No. So I mean, what's important for us in this is like what time, mm -hmm. not to my knowledge, what time that information gets to the school so that they can make a decision on the I don't know what time they usually have. It's at 3 in the morning or something. They make the decision at 5.30. 5.30, so, so you... they've got an answer, they've got, they've tried to get all their information done by then. So when you say you talk to the school, is that CAT, or do you talk to the supervisory? Supervisory. Supervisory. Okay. okay. I think you're talking, or is, is Roger talking to the supervisory, and yes. you, you're talking directly to the bus company, too, on roads? <coughs> yes. Or, yeah, because that's, and that, I never really thought as much about muddy roads, but that's as much as a... Uh, that's as much as a snowstorm, even more. Right. Because right. we're running into potential issues on with the school buses. Yeah, I mean, the, the she, Jen is the lady at the bus garage. She called me that Monday morning when month season first hit. And uh, and she was asking me about the road. And I said, you know, it'd be really great if you guys could cancel.
cancel today. Give me one day to fix up some of this problem. That was my recommendation. They, they didn't honor that. They went to school. And, you know, those buses create a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. The cars make the damage. They, you know, it's just because the roads are soft. And so I was asking them to, to not go to school for one day and give me time to fix up some of the really worst spots. And they didn't honor that. Well, they run deep. And I, and they, obviously, they've got a lot of criteria to follow. They've got a lot of, you know, things to look at. They're not just going to make their decision on one town. I think you could, you have the authority to close a road. Down. And you could say, well, if you're going to run school, and for instance, say Lightning Ridge is like dangerous from your standpoint. Right. You could say Lightning Ridge Road is closed to all, you know, heavy vehicle traffic. So you're going to have to figure it out. Maybe pick up at the elementary school. And, Parents right. have to get the kids I mean, there was only one road that I closed during this whole process, and that was Collar Hill. Man. Uh, yeah, if you've seen it. Um, it was it just the bottom right out of it, and there was cars getting stuck, and so I went over, it was on the weekend also, so I went over, I think, Saturday night. And a week ago. A week ago. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. At least one car got stuck on our road, on Martin Road, too, and had to be turned out. Yeah, we had. Yeah. But I think those buses tend to rut deep because of the. They're heavy. <coughs> the yeah, car drives into one of those ruts and it's on its frame. Right. Because you know, there it's not. Right. The Collar Hill trucks were stuck in the wall between uh, Elizabeth's and Doug Naylor's. Uh, uh, in fact, we couldn't even put our trucks through it. Right. I had to have my trucks back down to the wall, dump it, and then push it into the grave. Yeah. Wow. So I knew my trucks would be stuck. All so you did that on the weekend? You, you should have. No, no, no. We, no, we should have went there Monday. Yeah. I closed it for the for over ah, the weekend. Right. Got it. And then Monday I went and fixed yeah. it. Well, and that's the kind of thing that if Rick knows that you closed the road, he can post something. Yeah. The front porch forum. Yeah, that's right. That's a big, you know, that's people need so to do that. That may or may yeah, not that's a, that's five minutes of five. It depends on when that happens. Is it, well, if, with a with a closure decision like that, I suppose if that's the day before, we can do it. If it's the middle of the well, night. And, and even if it's even if it's late, <coughs> yeah. at least it's you, you, at least you've posted. At least it's a communication. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the good the good news is Worcester Road, all the work that Alfred did, that major investment, mm -hmm. was beautiful. I made the mistake thinking. Because it would, there were just two bad spots down by Robinson Hill. I was going to take my trash to Worcester. I was like, man, you know, Collar Hill is like this. It's a little drain better, which is <laughs> stupid. <laughs> because of course, it, it, yeah, overall it's like this, but it's like this, and then it's like this, and it's like this. And um, so I actually got stuck too, but I got pulled out. But um, I should have taken the Worcester Road because I came back and that was beautiful yeah. until I got to Robinson Hill by Pat Malone's as well. Right. There were two spots. Right. And those are clay boils, they come every year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And there are places like on, our, on Marshfield Road. Uh, they're, they're all over the places. Yeah. And you guys worked and worked and worked. You did a lot of work on that. But that was yeah. East Cow yeah. side of town. We don't yeah, we have any black So if you look at that, that's perfect. It's a different railroad track. If you look at that, <laughs> like 100 feet from the blacktop, right. it's just like a summer day. That was dug up and, and built from right. scratch. I remember. And then you get to the end of that, and it's you get all this clay. So we need to do more of that. And I'm planning on doing more of that this summer with some grant money, um, which is totally box cut it out, put under drain, new gravel, fabric. It's a total wow. rebuild. You road. did it on Moscow. Stuck by the cemetery. A lot of Moscow. Woods. I was just stuck by the cemetery in these counties, yeah. yeah. Yeah, all those humps, all those yeah. humps. And we got another one up here in front of Maple Corner Store. Yeah. yeah. And by, um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah. So I would they grow? try to mark them now that they're obvious, and then I can yeah. put a, I'm trying to get a number together for price per foot, so that it'll be easier to, for grants, you know, we can calculate the grants better. Can we, um, I want to circle back and make sure we've, that we have wrapped this up clearly. So the question, Rick, was whether we have good okay, protocol sure. for school closings based on poor road conditions. Yeah, I just want to make and, sure that. And do you, do you? I, I want to. I'm going to beg to differ. When you were on leave, we absolutely had an arrangement with Robert Roger Hill because I think it wasn't. We had an arrangement, but I don't think we paid for it. No, we absolutely did pay for it. It was a fee involved. We had to pay well, for. Whatever. Yeah. It was, okay, it, 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 no, no, no. It absolutely, it absolutely was. Okay. But 
it, when Rick ran into some conversation where that was a piece that, from somebody's perspective, was missing now. Right. That, That's what I it, need to make sure of is that right. the schools know what our assessment is before they have to make that. However that's happening, I thought that was through Roger Hill, but I was getting some feedback. They weren't hearing from us. They right. were finding out after the fact. Right. And so we need to know, we have to make sure that is that connection is closed and accurate, you know, the right. same. And so not just for the bus company that has to, the supervisory union is making the decision. So whatever that, that's being done through Roger, which I think that was the original. Right, that's the original. Yeah, so, so the, but that so has the, happened before, well before they get. So the school district has the arrangement with Roger. Did I get that? Yes. Yeah. They get yeah. information from well, him, Roger. but when when. But you communicate with the garage. This year, I've been communicating with the garage. Okay. Yeah. We, we, right, so nice. Roger, Roger. I mean, I don't holler to Roger because he's got six screens in front of him and he's got all things going on so i don't holler to him on the radio mm -hmm. i wait for him to holler to me and i haven't had that so mm -hmm. i've been communicating with and um, that's the thing because we're with the bus driver that's, that's right. probably mm -hmm. the bad break yeah. we were we were paying for it and no. then, here's <laughs> another here's another thing that that is probably part of that reasoning every single year in the fall we go down to washington central and we have lunch together and we talk about the plan for the winter time. Okay. Since COVID, that has not happened. Right. Because they haven't they didn't want to be right. in person. So there's a little bit of a communication gap there. Yeah. And we also changed superintendents mm -hmm. during this time. So there's there's a little bit of you know mix up. A mix up and less lack of communication as far as that goes. Well, before you were kind of communicating it to Roger, that was my, at least that's my understanding from the supervisory. Oh, no. So if that's the case, I mean, if you're communicating the information to them, then it's Roger's deal to gather that from the five front right. form and well, feed it to them. So Roger has contracts contract. with all the towns that communicate. Right. And we don't have a contract with them. So, that's so this is the, one of the gaps we should talk about. Right. I wasn't right. even aware. Maybe, maybe that's what we've That's why they didn't I've, check him out. I've, that's probably, I can take that on the chin. I didn't feel like we should be spending six or eight hundred dollars a year to get a weather report. Right. right. I know. We, Essentially, we when this is all started, yeah. that's what we, it yeah, was. Yeah, we had that. It was for him to get, give us, give me an update on the weather and what to expect. I right. can get that on the radio free of charge. Right. right. From him. <laughs> now, right, from him. Yeah. So now it's like, it's different. Now it's now it's all tied into whether we go into school, whether we're not going to school, whether right. the roads, you know what I mean? There's more right. to it. So now maybe it's time to right. bite the bullet and spend that so, $800,000 a year, so, whatever it is, to get contract with it. So who would do that? Well, I think this is, we've reached a juncture where we're recognizing an opportunity. I think we say Rick and Alfred um, bring us bring us back something to you know to to discuss and bless. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just bring us back. And yeah. Which yeah, it it might be just the phone call to Roger and, and and see why he hasn't been reaching. <coughs> Maybe he can't. Now some of the reason too is the truck that I normally drive is been out of service all winter. So there's no off radio. Off. So it's like you know. So, okay, so I'm making a note. It's broken again. Okay, so you got it right right clear, actually, right. for them. It was. Right. They're gonna, Rick and off. Alfred are going connect to kind of connect with Roger Hill. Uh, well, and, and the... And find out what services yeah, he yeah, offers we, for we, what. We want to get clear on the protocol for, and it might involve Robert, Roger Hill, we might get another proposal. We might get, get clear on school protocol with me and Roger Hill. I think it's a phone call to Roger and see what... Yeah. What he requires to. So, so Denise is is doing her best to take minutes, which is why I'm slowing this down. Right. So and because, I need some because there's help. nobody whose fingers are clickety click cap capturing everything. I'm writing it down, so I so okay. I need to find out what that exactly what that protocol is exactly, and then also the protocol what, with this, and then what whether we have to, you know, have a paid service with Roger or not. I need to kind of find out what this. Yeah. Your towns are done, what we right. need to do. We're obviously it's fuzzy. Always, it's yeah. always been that, that the school was paying him, so 
we're part of the school district, so I guess that's something that's why he, that's why he was communicating with me at that in the beginning of it. So it's that that would be sort of, that would sort of slowed down. It's not he's well, not reaching out to me as much. It's, it sounds it like there's a disconnect and an expectation which comes from the you know the, the overall. There's a lot of cooks in this soup here and lack of clarity somewhere. Maybe everybody just needs to get on the same page. Well, so, this, so my I have something I need to clarify there too. I mean, if that's the case, I mean, if it is six or eight hundred dollars or something like that, why can't the supervisory? Take a call right from Alfred. I, Alfred's I think, the guy who's going to make the decision. About I, that. I think the six hundred dollars was when we were paying Roger for like road by road what to expect on timing because we had a gap when you were when you know a couple of years ago. That's my memory. Yeah, that's well, and 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 now and so who needs the information is not Alfred on necessarily. It might be the schools and so they're paying them anyway. We so, can sit here and ask questions all night. So, so we put a shape on the questions. So you're going. To, so one of the things you're going to do is you're going to check with this district to see who contacts who. Right. Basically. Exactly. Right. What is that protocol? And who? What's if there's an agreement in place? Who's put mm -hmm. that in place? What I want to know where the, what the communication. Right. Chain the, is the, exactly. the chain of communication. Yeah. Because the bottom line is you got kind of sort of kind of a complaint. That, right. that it was yeah. broken, and so let's find out if it's broken, and if it's not broken, then let people know right. something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. We, we need to call Sandra. Uh, okay. Um, on the back. I phone? think can Rick, can you get the, grab the space phone? Oh, is it over here? No, it's over there. Okay. Um, we need to call Sandra. Um, okay. Well, we need her to do the treasure. Yeah, update. while we're getting her on oh, the I phone, um, let's. This? Can you give me her number? Yep, it's 802. Let's wait. 223-7484. The more that I eat, the better it gets. I know it's addictive, isn't it? Can I have a pizza? Hi, Hi Sandra. Hey, Sandra. Sorry, Hello, everyone. Sorry, we're late. I hey. can't hey, I just passed the top of this stay awake. I'm starting to stay. Oh. Uh, well, <coughs> let's get right to business then, Sandra. Thanks for joining us. We are ready to talk with you about the um, the, the treasure and delinquent tax collector report that you, re, that you provided for us and we have it, everyone has it in the electronic folder. I printed off just the, the highlights for, yeah. my, for my own purposes. That's what I did, I printed off um, the memos. Yep, yeah. Sandra, why don't, why don't we let you drive and then we'll ask uh, the folks here have questions. Okay, well, you guys are in, hang on, let me grab it. The, uh, as we're uh, finishing or coming to the end of the third quarter, you are, you're, you're seeing that your revenues are in good shape, your expenses are uh, on target for both general government and highway. Um, Delinquent taxes at this point, let's see, this report was drawn, what day? February. The delinquent taxes are at about $33,000 right now. At the end of February, they were at 42. Keeping in mind that 9,000 of that is the taxpayer, or the parcel, I should say, that was turned over to uh, Gloria Rice for collection. She has indicated to me that she's had no contact with that particular owner and that she is ready or would send, uh, set this up for a tax sale. Uh, her thought was that she'd like to wait for the next delinquent uh, tax collector was appointed at the time we spoke that it seemed fairly imminent. <coughs> so things look good. Okay. Can you repeat the numbers again that they 
were they the delinquent taxes now are thirty three or forty? At roughly thirty three thousand dollars. Nine thousand of, of which is in collection and headed toward tax sale. Okay. As soon as uh, as uh, that's going to happen next. Okay. Um, is thirty three thousand at this stage of the game something well and let's take that nine thousand out because we understand that there's a process for that. So is the twenty four thousand something we should be wringing our hands about at this point? Um, no, you always let's see where are you with your uh, with your revenue? Sure, ninety one percent. Um, You know, you want to collect them all as much as you possibly can. I think uh, looking at these, there's a good chance that you will get most of them before the end of the fiscal year. Are they on payment plans, Sandra? What was that? Are they on payment plans? Some are, some are not. Okay. And that's pretty typical. You know, this is, generally speaking, this is the month that you, I usually say, hey, you, you folks, you've got to get this paid. So I don't think there's any hand-wringing that has to happen at this point. I, I think you're going to see most of them collected. And what we oftentimes see, I mean, we're really ahead of the game at this point, but what we oftentimes see is uh, you collect a good deal of these at, by the end of the fiscal year, and then another couple months go by, and they're virtually all in. Do I think we're going to have some problems, folks? I don't know. I mean, I don't like to. Uh, are we in an open meeting now? Like yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. So <coughs> there's one taxpayer that is always on the delinquent, always on the delinquent list, and that person may need a longer payment plan. She suggested one, and I have countered um, only because I, I think I think she needs to do a little better with it. And um, but I do know there has been a shift in her uh, social situation with a partner, and it, I'm not sure how that is, has affected her finances. And I'm, I'm sure we'll be talking about that. Um, but otherwise, I think we might be good. There's one, I don't know, there's one guy that, you know, he's going to go to the end, but it's a few hundred bucks. It's not a big amount. I think we're going to be all right. Okay. Remember, once again, you have a, a very healthy fund balance that is in an <coughs> uh We don't like to call it a cushion, but, it, you know, you should be fine. Okay. Uh, starting with John, questions? No. Denise? No, good. Thank you, Sandra. Nice work. Mark? Thank you. Yeah, you it, it's good. We're, you're good. Rick, questions? No, thank you. Okay. Uh, any parting comments for us, Sandra? Things we should have asked you and didn't? Uh, no, yes. Okay, excellent. <laughs> I think um, you should should be asking CV Fiber members the invoice for the uh, fiber that they have laid in the uh, area. Um, I don't see them any longer laying that fiber, but you folks had promised them up to $35,000. Okay. And you probably want to do that in this fiscal year, which means they need get you a bill and a check has to be cut to them before June. The <coughs> um, uh, reason I say this is that in the budget <coughs> in the budget for this year, you do have a ten thousand dollars in that cell. You promised up to um, an additional twenty five thousand dollars. And again, you have a fund balance that's going to be able to manage that but when you roll into uh, FY23, you have nothing set aside in your budget for CV fiber. And um, depending on, you know, uh, what happens that year, that, that could be a big, that's a, a large unbudgeted expenditure. So someone should reach 
suggest to them that the board maybe could write them a letter or give, but I think David is gone now. I think there is a new uh, ED, if I'm not mistaken. You mean David Healy? I think a, a reach out yeah, point there. for that invoice would be why. No, just our rep. No, he's our, he serves on that board as our delegate. He's still right. there. He's not the executive director. No, no, no. No, um, no the executive director, I think, has switched out. Yes, that's yeah. true. Okay. But David's still there. Um, Denise, would you be willing to follow up on that point and get us an invoice? I don't think we, does anybody feel the need for a letter? Form? No, I think just. I mean, if Denise, if you want to write a letter under your own signature, is everybody okay with that? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to send him an email. Denise, yeah. get us an e uh, invoice. Thank you. Uh, all right, thank you, Sandra. Anything else you should have asked him, didn't? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. All right. Uh, before you go, Sandra, I just, I, I, it's probably common knowledge, but I don't remember, what is your last day? Friday. Friday. Ouch. Mm -hmm. So I, I guess maybe from your perspective, and maybe you provided this advice to others on the board, uh, what is your parting advice? We're kind of in this in between without having hired yet a treasurer or a tax collector. Yes, like tax collector. Yeah, we have, we have some time for that discussion. But no, but John's asking for Sanders. I'm somewhere. looking for Sanders <laughs> advice. Yeah. Well, no one on this board's advice. I think that, um, I think it's very important that you figure out how you're, at the very least, how your payroll is going to be managed and how your uh, quarterly tax returns are going to be filed. They're due before the end of April. Uh, you do have a proposal from Limerick for that purpose. And um, I, I think the board needs to uh, make sure that, it's, that the town's employees are reassured that there's not going to be any glitch in that area. So I, I, I think that uh, you, you want to get resources in place to take care of at least your payroll. Right, and we're, Mark and I are meeting with you and Jeremy on Thursday. Um, and I sent out to the board. We have two memos. Yeah. Two, two things yeah. yep. we sent out. Yep. Um, that is, <coughs> isn't that later in the agenda? No, it's right now. Well, it can be now. I mean, it, I don't know if we need to go into executive session. I, I guess we don't, we probably don't need to go into executive session. Um, I can't, it's pers it's not really personnel, it becomes more contractual. Um, it's Sandra, it's you're contractual and it's, it's stay. contractual and it's personnel. I think. Well, then we'll just have to be careful. Right. Um, I, I printed what you're yeah, looking for. I got it. I got copy at least. So the plan that Mark and I came up with, um, I, we sent it to the board. So, Alfie so, so, I mean, can Alfie doesn't have to stay. Alfie required. Um, we, we, I think we put on the record, no, you don't have to. You can say if you want to. He knows, you know that, right? Yeah, he knows yeah. he can leave. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, I'm kind of interested because I need to know who to send the time cards to. Right. Yeah. Well, we're going to be yeah. talking about some might that. Have a straight yeah. answer. I think we sh I think we did say, for the record, um, that we in an earlier meeting that we were, were we were making an offer to somebody, and so for the record that that did not work out. So we're right. we're back at square one. We're back at square one with a shorter timeline, and that's the context. Denise can so I'm saying this and and you're busy shuffling, but I hope right. that I can remember to put that context in the minutes. So yes, so we have to unfortunately we have to re-advertise. Um, this hiring market, as Mark and I described, is really a really bad hiring market right now. When I spoke with Bonnie at CVRPC, she said this is the perfect storm. This was gonna happen with a lot of baby boomers retiring. And then COVID hit, so people retired earlier. There's half the population of younger people to fill the jobs that the baby boomers were in. Um, wow. So the board needs to think, I've got a whole list of places to advertise. Um, 
Say what? People have been predicting that for 30 years. So right. It's, yeah. and, it, and, it's, and it's a perfect storm. It's, it's happened. Here mm -hmm. we are. Mm -hmm. um, and where I think maybe the board wants to go in executive session to talk about is some, um, a couple of things that I put down some, about up, some updates to the ad. Do we do a sign on bonus? Um, um, a face of the ad. We don't have to be an executive session for that, do we? Do well, we I think we need to decide are we going to be flexible in what we offer oh, I see. as benefits. So, so that's another uh, are we, gonna, are we going to. There's two issues. Right, there's two one, pieces. One is what is our plan for how we're handling this internally? Right. right. And the other is the personnel issue of what we put in the ad, what we offer, et cetera. So, Madam Chair, do you want to, shall we do the, which should we do first? I think the latter needs. We have some other session. things for executive session personnel related. Right. Later. I think, I think what we just, we need to do is, I've made a list of all the places where we've placed the ad previously. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like the board to revisit the ad and see if there's any way we can fluff it up a bit. Um, and then do we want to consider a sign on bonus like we did with the highway crew? Some corporations are offering a $10,000 sign-on bonus, private companies. So when we've advertised, we've put the sign-on bonus <coughs> in the advertisement, am I correct? We have not done for the treasurer, just the road crew. It, but it was in the ad? Yes. So, so if, um, and I think people are, well, if, if we think we would put it in the ad, then there's no reason not to be discussing it openly here. Right, we just, that's why I've got it on this. Yeah, the, yeah. You know, how yeah. do we want, question is, do we want to, do we want to offer that? And if so, how much? Right, and so that's for later. Yeah. No, we can talk about that now. Yeah, well, it's good. we want to talk we first talk about 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 and all that stuff right. in public. If we're going to put it in the advertisement, then we... Then well, I think, okay. I think we ought to be talking about the memo that says, how are we going to handle payroll? What are we going to that do? That I agree. Right. That, right. I, that I agree. Then I think session. in the executive session, we should talk about what is our pops? What are we going to offer? Well, because I think, all right. Because I think we need to look at what the offer was previously and the issues that arose from that offer right. okay. that might make a difference okay. now. Okay. So I so, think we need to do an executive session. So, yeah. So, Folks from Fox Allen, we will talk about a sign-on bonus, and yeah. <laughs> because we'll we have to decide. About but among, that, among other things that are much more, and, and, are and more. that and that has a, I think the issue what you guys are pointing out is that that has an interplay with some of the other things that definitely right. are executive session. Yes. Right. So because okay. that might determine that sort of push whether point. we offer a, a bonus or not. Right. Gotcha. Okay. So fair enough. Thank you for working through that with us. Okay. So. Um, the upshot for now is we are we are we are we are going to we are going to be re-advertising, mm -hmm. and then the other issue is we need to have some short-term solutions that require so some we, creativity. So we've sent, so we the two of us met together. Denise <coughs> talked to Sandra at some point. Mm -hmm. And we are also meeting with Senator. And our proposal for how we handle this interim period is in this memo, which we sent to you. Right, which is in for executive session. All right, right. So, so there's really nothing on this that we feel that we can do because of its relationship to some other things. Right. Okay. I That's do fair. think the plan, that is, what we do, we can discuss now in open session. In other words, we can discuss now the memo that we sent you that talks about, can yes. we discuss all this? Procedure for... Why did we label it that? Because I did. But I mean, can um, an attorney. Which one are you guys on? The all right. one that, that, I mean, can, do we need to discuss that? You guys still need me? No. <laughs> while you're no, we don't. We only need you for about five more years. Yeah, yeah, yeah Sandra, about five <laughs> years. No. Sandra, five and then more we're done. Hours. Sorry. Sandra, do we need her for five more minutes? No. no. Sandra, um, yeah. what we probably should do is spend five, 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 more, five more minutes of thank you for yeah. thank you. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have brought us into the modern age of finances. And yeah. and do you guys have an exit interview 
feedback oh, yeah. schedule you're working we're on. We're waiting until yeah. we work through this yeah, so, before yeah. we do that. Yeah, so yes. Mark and um, Rick are going to, or probably are. have probably connected, but. We've already we've yeah. talked about it. We're yeah. going to wait until we've got to get through this push right now. Okay. To do that. It's up to you. I don't know whether. Yeah. Whether All right, Sandra, but you're free to go unless you want. Yeah. 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 I, I'm sure you don't. <laughs> thank you, Sandra. All right, you guys have a good night. Thank, thank you, Sandra. Sandra. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay. So, do we All right, want to you, go you guys. The session now? Um, or do you want to do it later and go through some of these other things first? I think let's just go. I, I was thinking that we were doing this that whole thing because we got yeah later at at the end because otherwise we're asking folks to leave. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. All right. So let's let's move on. Um, Mark, the next item is the select board guidelines, and I'm going to turn to you on that one. Right. I'm, I'm just going to put a motion out first, and then I'll explain. <laughs> I'm moving that we table this for now and come back next time when the 411 meeting. The 411, yeah. <clears throat> We're almost there, but that's uh, snafu. The, the, I don't the, think you need a motion. Yeah. Just, no, I don't okay. think you need a motion. Okay. okay. Next well, the motion, we'll the motion is also for the two of us to work yeah, on this. Yeah, the two of us will work, and we will provide you guys with a, we're almost there. We'll provide you guys with a clean yeah. word version copy and um, you can read it we can debate it if mm -hmm. there's anything to debate I really think when I looked finally finally understood it my apologies you know there were we've discussed this at length in mm -hmm. several meetings one of which I had completely forgotten about and so I think almost every issue is resolved. Right. It's just that you know now you'll have a clean copy and we'll talk about it. And, yeah, and, good. And, and I guess for my two cents, um, let me say that the version that I put in the folder is that clean copy based on the last time we talked about it and the to-do that I had, which was to incorporate some edits that I kept telling you guys I had made but had not been the one in front of us that night. And so at the end of that discussion, <coughs> it was, okay, let's get those in. That is what you have here. I did do some things like put some little headings in to just be guideposts, but Mark and I can work through it and, and, and bring. And I remember the concerns that were expressed mm -hmm. where Sharon, unfortunately, wasn't there. I remember the debate. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure, we'll all make sure that what gets to you is reasonable and Right, but we but we did read, but that was not the last discussion. That, that was not. That's, that's what's my mistake. right, and that's what that in was, your email you said there yeah, was a discussion in September. Yeah, right. Yeah, there was another just, discussion yeah. after the August version, and there were a number of edits that we made as a group that night yeah. that I think people right. forgot about. Well, yeah. and I think it's been so long. I think we didn't. Yeah, we didn't see like the the document. This is this is the document before, and this is the document now. These are the edits that I made. Right, kind so, of thing. So you don't. So you don't know. Well, okay, but you're not going to see them again. It's it's time to just look at a document, say, do we like it? Where are we now? Yeah. Rather than trying to start a year ago and try to so, spread through the whole thing. So I move we authorize Sharon and Mark to work on the document. Yeah. Second. All right. All in favor? Yeah. All right. Aye. So we'll get it. Back. All right. Um, okay. And Mark, private roadside maintenance application, I'm going to turn to you for that one, too. Okay, so... Oh, I forgot to take the watermark off. Um, That's right. We... Oh, what, 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 <laughs> I guess it is a draft. Could we have We're just at this point, given where things are, we've put together a very simple... You guys charge the two of us with, as you remember, working on private roadside oh, maintenance, right? right? And we did. In and lieu of. In lieu of. Yeah, in this lieu of just sure. sort of the odd hope kind of thing that was going on where people were coming mm -hmm. up. Okay. And we did. And we met with Alfie. We met with Alfie. We met with Alfie and Peter. Peter. And we <coughs> concluded that for right now, given where things are, we just, we need to stay kind of, we need to, we're asking for a little delay. Well, we need to, we need, and what we've done is we've, Sharon and, and I have put together, Sharon put together, and I agree with it. It's just a form. Yeah. The, a, it's just a form that requires that people have to fill out saying what, they, what they're what they doing, that they understand the clearance 
site clearance policy, site that they've read it, that they're familiar with it. I mean, essentially, it requires them to set out information. Um, does it, it have to get approved by the board? Yes. Yeah, it has yeah. to be. It yeah. just goes right to the board. It's right. not ideal. It's not what we'd hoped for. But I think that for right now, this coming season, we're in it. Yeah, we, we, we... Can I say, I mean, if, is there an out, like, let's say, Alfred obviously sees it, say sight lines aren't being maintained. Yeah, is yeah. It, and and we come in and mow. Yeah. Right, that's yeah. what the grid yeah, is. Yeah. It's a safety issue. Well, so it's we, a slight uh, improvement because before well, there was no form. Now there's a form. We were, so what we were hoping to do, what we thought, we all thought last <clears throat> fall we could do is come up with a policy. Mm -hmm. And and it feels, it, it after all of the all of the, the discussions that we had with, you know, with Alfred and and Peter, we're not in a place to really have a policy yet. We'd um, like to get there, we're not there. We'd yet. like to get there, so we're not, so that's the reason for the deferral. It's not like we're gonna come back in six weeks and say, okay, got it. Um, but what what we thought would make um, sense in the meantime to it is it to at least standardize an application so that everybody mm -hmm. wants to maintain the road privately fills this out Mm -hmm. We aren't able yet to, to delegate this to Alfred because we don't have a policy for, but at least we'll have a standard application that everybody um, who wants private maintenance filled out brings to the board. Um, we'll get the same information from everybody, and then we approve or deny for the season. So is there a statement in there regarding us not waiving our right in the event we determine maintenance is inadequate or the road commissioner determines. Um, is that in that form? I don't know, that's what I want to That needs to be in there. Uh, a clarification because... Not, well, so, so, so if Alfred says, you know, I've talked to the, these well, folks and they're supposed to, they well, agreed to do blah, 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 and they're not. Right. We have a place for conditions. So, so I mean, if we were pressed to prove this tonight, we could, that could always be a condition. Well, you yeah, know, or else but, just... But we're not pressed. I mean, this has been, this is in the folder, guys. Yes. So go out, take a look at yeah. it. If you feel like something's missing, we can approve this next time. I think the clarification is, you know, it's going to happen. Right. Someone's going to fall down. They've been too busy on vacation somewhere in France mm -hmm. or something. And so we're going to need to get the work done, and they're going to come back, and they're going to flip out. And so we need to say, uh, look at paragraph 9. Okay. So, all right, are you going to go out and do this, or are you asking us to do it? We should just do it. We'll just do it. I okay. think you should do it. I, I and can we I'll put it in here? And we'll then we'll have a clean copy to look at for the next meeting? Yeah. Yep. Okay, okay, now, one thing. This doesn't mean we aren't going to ask Alfie, right? What do you think? No, right? he's consulted. He has to sign this thing. Is it? I don't. I is there a there signature line for him? There's not a signature no, line. No, no, no. This is still coming to the select board. It's coming to the board. I thought he, he sent it to the select board. I no, we but are we going to get Alfred's input? Are we going to get input? Alfred's recommendation? Are we going to get Alfred's input right, on right, this? Of course. On the application. We'll bring this to the meeting. We'll have a discussion at a meeting, right? Right. right. Kind, of like, yeah. kind of like a curb cutter. Alfred. Right. Like a curb cut, though. Alfred would go. So I can I can put in my two cents then. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when I know the certain parts of road that they're that they're right precisely applying. what okay. i'm saying is because yeah. i think this says it was has it'll to be, be like it will, for right. now it'll see someday <clears throat> i don't think these things should come to us directly right someday right we think they should come to us on an appellate level only but right right but for now we're just living with the status quo part of the status but improved the form mm -hmm. part of the status quo is when there's a meeting and they come to the meeting, we're going to ask Alfie, what do you think? Right. right. And he can say, these people are great, okay. or, you know, I don't see that they can do this, or whatever. So I just made a note that we're going to add something in here that the town will mow if they're not maintaining their part of the bargain. Right. Right. But understand, um, I want to get really clear with you guys, what's, what, this is the converse of what we wanted. What we were hoped is that we would say, here's a standard, and you have to meet it, and Alfred can yeah, but we're not there. But we're not there. So we're just, it's a bunch of blanks. It's a bunch of, tell us what your plan right. is for this. Tell us what your plan is for that. It's, it's, which is basically what we've been doing, only this is a standard right, I was say, this approach. just makes it better so that everybody has to file the same they still information. Have file. And it does have a statement in here that, uh, we will work cooperatively and collegially with the town's road commissioner to maintain open and productive lines of communication, and we will respond promptly to communication from the road commissioner. 
So that is in here. Alfred, I made, I carried over the note that I was starting to write. I'm just going to hand this around and you can take this paper version. I bet that's easier for you. Yes. Um, if you have feedback for us, please send it to me and Mark by Friday. This Friday? Yeah, Friday. Yeah. 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 yeah, just so you don't forget about it and we can get that wrapped up. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, because the season is... Uh, absolutely. absolutely. And at least we've had the discussion. People know there's going to be an application if you want to do your own private roadside maintenance. Um, now, is that when we get that finalized? Uh, just to be clear, this is not private roadside maintenance. This is private maintenance of public roadside. Yeah, public roadside. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Oh, right, 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 right. right. We are private, private maintenance of public roadside. Right. 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 The public right. Private right. maintenance yeah. of public right. roads. Yeah. Okay. Public right. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Private maintenance of public road sites. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's you're right about that. Yeah. Uh, that could very easily be misread. Okay. 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 So that's done. All right. So um, we have one of these. We can do these probably as a slate. Um, we okay. have what? Before we do, I'd like to ask Denise if she would want to be. If this, well, first, if, 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 if I may. Okay, can I say out loud what the topic is? Oh, you, oh, I thought you were doing these appointments. I was. Okay, go ahead. So I'm we're going to be jumping the gun. Yeah, so what we were about to do is revisit a discussion from a couple of meetings ago. We made some preliminary appointments. We didn't make some appointments. We have several appointments. Uh, they are the. Central Vermont Solid Waste Management District delegate and alternate, the health officer, and then the CVRPC delegate to the Clean Water Advisory Committee. Yeah. Um, those one, two, basically four appointments are the topic, but John. So um, not listed is an idea of mine. You know, most boards, not maybe select boards, but boards in general, you know, Robert's Rules and all that, have a secretary, yeah, and I see Denise like time and again basically right. bailing us out in that role. And I was wondering if the board would consider if Denise was willing to be our board secretary. Isn't it's, it called the clerk? It might be called the clerk. A clerk. Yeah, okay. it's optional for us to have a clerk. I okay. was thinking the same thing, and oh. I wasn't going to ask her in public. But there you go. Okay, sorry. <laughs> as long as I don't. Wants to do, but she's doing it, so I was wondering. Well, as long as I don't have to do minutes forever, but I've got a plan for that. So you. Well, that kind of is the role of the clerk is doing the minutes. So if Denise doesn't really want to be doing them forever, then that's. Well, I don't know. There's well, more. There's well, more we could, in things. In the interim, like she could be the clerk, and then if we hire someone, do the minutes, or whatever. Not the minutes. I if if it's yeah, if it's not Second. to do minutes ongoing, then I would want to have a clear understanding because to me you just said there's other stuff, but that's we talked about that last right, time. Right. Like until what, we, right. what is the until other we get stuff? to the what other is, piece of an administrator. Okay, so maybe we wait. Do you want? To well, I want to know what it is. I think it's really important that we as a board, because Denise has been doing things organically based on she just knows to do it for a while that to have that kind of bubble out and for us to understand right. what that is. Right. Well, I think also the clerk would like contact the other boards, commissions, committees, check with chairs and stuff to see if people want to be reappointed. Um, you know, those kinds of things like that, I would think a clerk or a secretary would do. Or, or a select board assistant, yeah, a select board assistant. But yeah, because I think you want, because I think you want it to be somebody from the board that's asking people if they want to be reappointed or right, if they, right, right. the chairs think they should be reappointed kind of thing. Um, it seems like it should come from a board member. And yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah that's fine. And but, that can be just, that can be an assigned duty. But that's, right, that's right. kind of not what we're here on right now. Okay, well I just um, wanted to. No, I, I, was thinking, I was thinking I'm about the clerk sure. from the recording secretary standpoint. Um, because you are doing it now, but if but you have a, you have some thoughts on that. We're going to talk about it in executive session. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, well, um, uh, yeah, I didn't know. right, yeah, yeah. What do I know? So, so can we do these appointments? Well, yeah. So is there? So the I move all the appointments. Well, can you say them out loud though for people yes. watching the movie? I'm, I'm moving the appointment of. Um, 
Jay Copping as a health officer for a three-year term, and Bill Powell as the CVS WMD delegate, and an alternative alternate de delegate of John Brabant for a one-year term. And that's the Central Vermont Solid Waste Management right, District. district. Mm -hmm. And See, then, then the Central Vermont Regional Planning Commission delegate to the Water Clean Water Advisory Committee is John Brabant for a one-year term. Second. Okay. Any questions, discussion, comments? You? Uh, I've been on the Great. Clean Water Advisory Committee. They, they've just changed the process. I don't know. I filled out this form for you. Yes. I knew you did. Okay. Um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Uh, okay. Um, okay. So those are <clears throat> done. The private roadside maintenance or private maintenance of public roadside application will be at. We'll do that at the next meeting. Okay. So one of the things um, that I kind of forgot about when Denise and I were working on this agenda, but um, this concept of consent agenda. So we heard your input on the application. Um, Who's input? What application? You mean the board's input? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so just to tee up this concept, that's the sort of thing that, A, we can change at any time. B, we just want to get it done. Um, <clears throat> we've looked at it. It's been in the folder. You gave us some feedback. That, to me, would go on a consent agenda. What? The the oh, right. private maintenance of the public road right, site right. Oh, yes. for next meeting. In other words, because she's saying introducing the idea of a consent agenda, which just so that it, which a lot of organizations do. A consent agenda is just things. It's, it allows Absolutely. you to make one motion and one approval. Like of a whole series of non-controversial so items. So it's like housekeeping stuff. Yeah, housekeeping like stuff. like Mark just did. Yeah. Like Mark just did on for that whole yeah. 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 like, consent agenda. So you <coughs> put on the agenda since Sharon and I are working on these together. Do you put on the agenda consent agenda yes. items and yes. then you list and them? And then you list them. Yes. Yes. Okay. And yes. the first thing that happens is the chair says, "Anybody want to take anything off the consent agenda?" It just takes one member of the board to remove something from the consent agenda. Because they may want to talk about it. If they want to talk about line it. Line item veto. Yeah, and right. then it goes yeah, go. plop right into the agenda. It just moves oh, into I the see. agenda. Got it. But if it stays like on the consent agenda, then someone says, I move the consent agenda second to a move. But right. how do you know if you take, if a board member says, okay, I want to take this off and have it be right. for discussion, then how does the public know that it's being discussed to be able to be here? Well, it's, then it's, it's, the, consent it's agenda. the next thing. Usually. But you list it. You list. So we would literally have a yes, list. Yes, you should have Well, we would. No, no, no. We would. So, so it will be. It's. It's the chair's job to say these are things that are fits for the exec. For, for the, the consent agenda. For the consent agenda. So you guys will get the agenda. It'll say consent agenda, and here's the four Items things. Items one through five. Right. And the, people in the public know that if they want to say anything. First of all, they got to find somebody on the board to take it off the consent agenda. Right. And uh, second of all, then it's then when they do, it's the next item. It's right. right there. But uh, it, but but part of but, that. but <clears throat> well, good. But it is good. It, it saves a lot of time, yeah. and we've already had as much discussion as that application deserves. Right. So it's 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 stuff like that. Um, you know, we're making a little tweak. We do this every year. It's a it's a feel good letter of support for a project. You know, absolutely not controversial. It's in the folder. Everybody can read it. You can email me and say I don't want that on the consent agenda. Don't put it on the consent agenda. Right. Um, and also, people can appear if they appear right at the beginning of the meeting. They can say if, if they want. Turn to public. There's an item on the consent agenda. I don't want it to be on. And then someone can say why not? And they say I have something to say about it. And you can say fine. I move it. I want it off the consent agenda. Mm -hmm. It's not even it require, it doesn't even require a motion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it. It's it's a way. Yeah. It's, I like it, Well, and it, it's it it moves the things that are routine and the things that we've already talked about into <clears throat> one motion, not taking up big discussion time and allows us to free up time 
for the harder stuff. I mean, one of the things that I've really noticed tonight is is how, I mean, I'm you know trying to run the meeting and I'm not able to take good notes. It's I'm it's watching. Hard. It's well, and it's hard for anybody, right? I mean, we've got a board member who's tr who's trying to do that. One of the things that we need to do is slow ourselves down, take time, make sure we're getting crisp on what we want documented. And Denise, you know, as long as you're taking minutes, slow us down, make sure that, that you know we are clear on what we on what we're saying and what we're going to document because that that's our memory at least for me that what's in the minutes is kind of the memory right that's why you need to have minutes to say more than just the motions right um, so and the motions need to be clear anyway so so creating that time for ourselves through a consent agenda just it makes all the sense. I think Marcus said this before. I've never been on a board that didn't. Yeah, you've didn't, talked to me about that before. Didn't have mm -hmm. that. And, and so anyway, so I'm, yes, I'm using this opportunity to say, oh, perfect example. The private maintenance of road, public roadside. You know, so it's actually a question though, yeah, yeah. so that I could just write for the minutes. Um, so if a board member says, I don't want this on the consent agenda, do you have to have a reason why? No. And if it's not, and if it's removed, it's taken up like immediately after. Right. Um, okay. It's what I'm thinking of this way. I'm, I'm just thinking of advice it's for organizing the agenda. Mm -hmm. It's not substantive. It's just a, a way of organizing the agenda. That's all it is. I'll give you an example. Uh, oh, and by the way, it's almost nine thirty. It turns all those things that should be five minutes into actually right. five minutes. Well, as opposed to, yeah, right. Or less. Good luck. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, if they're on a consent agenda. But, and it doesn't mean, like, for example. So you can't, talk to, you can't talk about them at all? If no. Like you, just say, can, you know what? If, you, if it's a short question, just really simple, people do all the time. Okay. But I, I think this is fine on the consent agenda. Just tell me that this or whatever. Yeah. Oh, that's but right. But that right. one of the things that's important to remember is, just because something's on the consent agenda doesn't mean that there's no report or written material about it. Right. Okay. In other words, quite the contrary. Like, for example, in the Vermont Land Trust, mm -hmm. maybe every single meeting there would be like 15 transactions. Right. right. I've seen that on the VLC. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. yeah. CBRPC. Yeah, yeah, there's 15 transactions of which. Two have, are controversial or important or involve a lot of money, and the executive director would put ten of the fifteen on the consent agenda. Every one of them has a report. Mm -hmm. in the, when you say a report, a document in the folder. A document in the yeah. folder, yeah. and it's up to the board to look at them. And sometimes people yeah. would say, you know, the third one there, I won't pull that off. And fine, yeah. that's that, yeah. right. and it's off, and it's. And no one yeah, frowns at you. It's understood. No, it's just okay. understood. It's okay. an that's what I want to be sure on. That it's it's, it's an organizational yeah. device. That's all it is. Good. That's why it only takes one person, you know, right. saying because yes. There's no vote. There's right. no. You just boom. It's off. So yeah. if somebody makes a motion to approve all the items listed on the consent agenda. Somebody seconds it, and then the board votes. Actually, before that, usually the chair says. I'm going to raise the consent agenda now, but before I do, is there anyone who wants to get anything off the consent agenda? Hearing none, do I have a motion? Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then what Denise said happens. And I think the other thing it does um, is what, you know, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to start doing this. I'll do it in baby steps. You know, you won't get a whole big list, but please. Please, um, you know, Denise and I worked really hard to get the agenda out. You guys had it by Thursday. We asked you for items on Tuesday. There were much of the documents that were in the folder today were in there last week. Mm -hmm. So there's, so you, my goal is for you to have time, certainly over the weekend, to read the documents and not have them popping up and surprising you on Monday afternoon mm -hmm. in the folder, not just in your email. There's so much email, as we said last meeting. Mm -hmm. Getting the documents in the folder so you can read them. I mean, that, it does put the burden on reading them in advance. Mm -hmm. But it gives you more time. But it gives you more time. Right. Read them in That's advance, um, and, then, and then you know, you know whether you're comfortable. I don't, it, it, it sort of defeats the purpose if we're pulling them off just because you haven't had a chance to read it. That's my point. Okay, that, enough on that for now. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, John, you had an update on the Worcester cell tower. I, well, no, there is, my update is that it's 
It's, this is premature. It's not ripe yet. For okay, not ripe. Right. Right. Does Alfred need to? You can. Well, no, you're probably here for the application. The what? The that why you stay? You're what you can say. I'm still concerned about who I'm going to send the time cards to. We'll let you know. Yeah, yeah no, you're we'll not going to get an answer. We're not going to get that right now. Yeah. Yeah. We have a plan. Jeremy. Okay. We'll get once we get them all. Denise and I are working on it. And we're meeting with Sandra on Thursday. And we'll let you know. Once we have that nailed down, we'll let everybody know. Yeah. Okay. okay. You're not going to, you can, you can wait here all night and you're not going to have answers. Yeah, no, I just, if, if that was going to come about, then I would yeah. like to know. Cause yeah, I'd we'll let you know. In the past, I've always done it Monday morning, because mm -hmm. that's when Sandra wanted to come. Yeah, okay, so we'll keep that in mind. Sandra's not going to be doing it, I need to know. It'll right. likely we'll still be Monday morning. But, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> great. Right. Uh, there's always psychic benefits, you know. Um, it just works, it's so nice to work for Let me people. Let me ask a yeah, question right. while Alfred is, is packing up. We also got a town health officer recommendation form that came with the health with the health officer mm -hmm. appointment. Do we have to fill this out? I guess we do. Yeah. Would you like me to fill it out? Um, well, that's Jordan. something a clerk would do. Mm -hmm. Right. I was thinking just the that's same. what I was thinking. <laughs> if, if somebody we only had a clerk. If we if we can just can, can I have sign? Um, do you want me to sign it? Yeah. And then we can just fill it out and I know we see that too and we're done. <coughs> okay. Uh, I am filling this form out, guys. Three or signing it. Yep. Um and and then would you will you put like a signed version in our folder yep. for tonight or something? Yep. Thank you. Or the completed version. Thanks, Denise. Okay. Um and the update on Worcester Seller is premature. Not right. Not right. Not right. right. The application is yet to be filed. Not right. You see the letter would go in. Okay. Uh, okay. So we are. Is okay. I think we're going to go into executive session now. Uh, yes. Denise, and do you make want a motion to go into executive session per section three one three? Um, A3. A3. Is it A3? Which is related to personnel matters. Okay. Yep. Uh, is there a second? Do it all. I'll second it. Okay, John seconds. Any discussion, questions? Okay, wait a minute. It's 9... 9... 9.32. 9.32. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Who made the second? I did. Yeah. Okay, so...